Hi, and welcome to Average Previews. Today's game is called Baja, Edge of Control. This is a game developed by 2XL Games and Blitworks, and published by THQ Nordic. I will go into a small race and then talk about it a little. Let's go... What the hell have I not done yet? Let's do this one. And I will show... I will go with a... more powerful one. Let's go with this full-size truck. And I will definitely go with simula simulation. Always go with simulation, it's much better. In my opinion, than arcade. And non-stop is fine. This can be either 90 or 80 percent if you want average um, normal enemies or opponents. Full damage, obviously. And let's go. Now this is a remake, a PC remaster of a of an old. PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 era game. It was on those platforms back in the day, and now it's uh, for the first time on PC. It uh, takes the real life Baja concept and makes a full game out of it. You even have a Baja mode where you actually have to race for about 3 hours. But you can also do sm shorter ones, like one hour, if you want, which is interesting. Now, one little nitpick I have with the game, it isn't a negative, it's just a nitpick, is that the vehicles feel a bit too fast for the size of the tracks they are racing on. It just feels off. But I do love the physics in simulation mode. In arcade mode, they aren't that great. Arcade racers do that better. Actual arcade racers do it better. But simulation mode physics is alright. I really do like the way the um, suspension... I have to show it with a proper open-ended vehicle. open vehicle it's there is uh, just something satisfying about the the way the uh, suspension works in this game and uh, the riddle I have played it about an hour to I have found it uh, really enjoyable and uh, while I can't compare it to the original on the PS3 or Xbox 360, I can I can talk about it as a game itself. Now it does cost uh, 30 euros, which is quite a lot for an old game. It is a more higher production than a tiny indie game, so maybe the 30 is worth it? I would say that the fun is there. So... From what I can gather, it will definitely clock me about the 100 hours. Easily. Well, maybe not easily. I would say easily about 60 hours is definitely there. But I can see the potential for more. So I would say that the, the price point is good. And the game looks nice. It is, an, uh, it is a remastered version of an older game, but they have made it look uh, interesting enough. Both graphically, art style, the textures, and it works well. Although, if you put it on an, on an HDD, then the loading times are 
weirdly high, at least for me. I have it on an SSD, so it, you don't see that here. But they are still there for some reason. Oh well. Other than that, the performance is fine. I have not noticed frame drops. Uh, mostly, be mostly probably because I don't use. That was bad. Mostly because I don't use VSync. I prefer just limiting the frame rate. Although, I guess most of these games, which uh, most of these games are unlimited anyway, so they will take about 120 FPS or more, which I can't even see on this monitor. But regardless, it works fine. And I'm using an Xbox One controller to play it, and it works perfectly with it. Oops, I think I cut... Oh no. Was that my wheel or... No, that was... His wheel. But my, I definitely have a broken wheel. Well, my wheel is destroyed and my... Everything is destroyed. That is not good. Look at these tires. They're, just, they're pretty much destroyed. Okay. Well, the support uh, helicopter is also unavailable. That's great. I'm broken. I need, I need repairs badly. And even my. Oh nice, they're coming now, they're completely destroyed by the time I <laughs> reach them, wow. This is the first time I've been damaged. I have never been damaged before in this game, so... You can see, you and me both get to see it for the first time. And for some reason... Oh, I was too fast to get there, there I think. So the meeting point is now there. I think they will land there. Hopefully. Please land. Yes, you did land. Good. Need to reach you. Stop for the pass. Oh, that was mine. I didn't even notice that the, I had a second spare. That was my wheel. That went off flying there. Good, I'm now good. Fairly good anyway. Water is kinda low. Oh, water is boiling. I think that goes the other way. I'm doing the non-stop version. Basically you can do it, uh, as you saw in the options, you had uh, the option between stage, stages and the non-stop. Stages are split between uh, small pieces of the, ma of the map, about 2-3 to three minutes each, depending on the map. Some are 1 minute. Uh, and non-stop just goes through all of the stages in one single sitting. So you do whatever it takes, 12 to 15 minutes. Whoa! That has never happened before. Interesting. You can also use up those spare tires uh, you have on top of your vehicle. You basically, when you have a flat, you can uh, stop and then you can uh, change it. There are no animations for it, it is an older game, but uh, it also saves time, of course, because it's, it takes a few seconds. 
and that's that's good enough as it is a game so game rules apply it also has a career mode which I will show you after this race career mode has experience and which you have to gather to get the, into better leagues and also has uh, credits you can use to upgrade your vehicle or buy new vehicles I have always like always liked the management part of uh, these racing games if you have a career then it's better to have the career like that but that's just my opinion that was not a great corner at all also I forgot to mention at the beginning but I have disabled the in-game music uh, during the races because racing games tend to use licensed music and I don't know whether this one does or not so I have it disabled just in case and uh, someone someone said that the game has uh, an AI problem that the AI uses a racing line they are basically programmed to follow and they will not leave it no matter what I don't know whether that is true or not I haven't ever tested but that is a problem in uh, racing in the racing genre in general that's uh, why time trials tend to be more fair I guess they generate random times for each opponent but uh, what I do like is that, uh, that the opponents don't have a set position they will end the, uh, the race at it's uh, different every time that is always lovely to see that means the AI is actually competing against each other and uh, it isn't like, oh this guy will probably get second as usual, or this guy will always get fourth. But this guy, for example, got first place now, and next time will be seventh instead. It can happen. My stuff is broken again. because I'm kind of reckless uh, here but I don't think I need another repair I think I can deal with it but I don't know how long this track is because as, uh, I chose it because as I said when choosing I chose it because I haven't played it before So far it's going fine. I think anyway. Sixteen point eight kilometers, seven seventeen kilometers basically has been has been the length of this track so far. Thirteen minutes. I want to do a full race I want to so show a full race from start to end and then I will also show a league in the career but first I will also show one stage uh, in a race uh, using a, an open an open buggy one of the unlimited ones it 
if I'm able to. I'm sure I am able to. Because I did play with them before. And. Oh, and also those uh, larger tree like uh, things, bushes or stuff. Uh, those you can actually crash into and you can ruin your, your vehicle with that, with them. So do be careful. Although it isn't uh, burnout levels of damage, it isn't like when you crash into a tree at 200 kilometers per hour, uh, you get completely wrecked, you don't. You will just uh, lose a few parts, and that's about it. My oil is in zero, and my tires are zero. What? I guess I should get the... Okay, where will you land? Hopefully, hopefully nearby. There you are. Ooh. That was close. Will they land in time? No. Oh, yes! That went well. Now I can race better again. And almost 20 kilometers done on this road. This is the longest track in the game, it feels like. Sixteen minutes. The previous longest I came across was thirteen or uh, fourteen minutes. Oh here's the end. First place. Okay, that was nice. Stage time sixteen sec minutes. Now let me show you w one stage of rally race and what else have I not played? This thing. And let's go with these. Stage. Simulation. I might as well show you the arcade. Why not? To show you the differences. Now this is the arcade control, it's uh, more responsive than simulation. It's easier to control, but I don't... I'm not really a fan of the physics themselves here. But the uh, suspension movement is still there. So that's okay. And I do like the way the suspension moves. It's lovely, isn't it? When you go over these uh, pumps. Like that. And it's unlocked, it isn't symmetrical or anything. It goes really nicely. I don't know what it is about it. It's kind of... It's kind of mesmerizing. And each, suspen each uh, suspension actually works differently, or separately, which is especially cool. Some games don't have that coded in properly. And also, well, uh, some uh, vehicles are just like that. On uh, one single, I think it's called a drivetrain. I'm not uh, too familiar with cars, so I'm sorry if I'm wrong. So they tend to be more symmetrical, kinda. But with these unlocked ones, it's especially cool.
And now I'm on a fast one. Fast area. Ah, uh, never mind. I hoped I could get 200, but I didn't. So many check... so many restarts, sorry. That's awful of me. Uh, arcade also has better grip. It's easier for you to stay on the road. And it is also easier to keep the vehicle uh, moving straight. In simulation it is a bit harder, you need to do micro movements a lot. Three minutes. How do I manage to get the long... So I, I guess I accidentally didn't uh, play the longest tracks in the game uh, when I was doing the... when I was previewing it for myself. To play it to see whether it is a good game or not. And I the shortest tracks because these are extremely long well that's fine I will just quit that out of this to show you the career mode Baja career resume now you start uh, this is my current specs though that I'm playing six seven minutes because uh, most of my time was in the regular races because I wanted to see the content of the game the career was secondary and this is my only car at the moment or vehicle sorry and I have un I have uh, pretty much maxed out everything here you can buy different things some have uh, three things some have two most have two actually you have tires which you can get. These feel like uh, they are... Like they are uh, linear upgrades, but this thing here... I don't know whether that is... A linear or not. But let's uh, show you one. Join league. I can only do this one. They have one one. Max win XP, 157. This is 210. Let's go. What is this anyway? Is this circuit or... I guess I will see. Now this thing is extremely slow, although I did upgrade it so it's a little faster than before. Yep, these are circuits. And uh, the unfortunate thing is that for some reason the uh, career mode decided to play an arcade mode. I would have a gun simulation, but there was no option that I could see. It only allowed me to show, uh, choose between easy and hard difficulty for the career, and uh, between MPH and KM KMPH for the display speed speedometer. But there were no other choices. If they were hidden then that's not great. I mean I could deal with the arcade with the arcade uh, sim physics but I would prefer to play in simulation, it's more interesting. More satisfying.
and this is pretty much the entire game. Actually there is uh, one more. Let's try the Baja mode here. That's three hours. Let's go with this one. And let's go with the trophy trucks. These are the end game ones. 90% might as well. Let's play this a little bit. Just to show it to you, really. I will probably play these. Not probably, I will definitely play these. Actually, I guess... Uh, I wonder... I didn't try this. Let me just restart. I wonder what uh, happens if you choose this, all classes, race against vehicles in this class, race against the competitive range of vehicles, race against all classes, oh, never mind then, it just means that, it just means which one you race against. Not the ones that appear on the map. I still want to test it at least. For science. Let's do it. Let's put... No. Let's put it like that. Let's see what happens. Did it change anything? No. It didn't change anything, so it, it just means that you are racing against vehicles that aren't in your class or your class range. Usually uh, the ones that are actually on the map, like that guy there, you aren't actually racing against them. He's racing, racing in his own class, just at the same time on the same track. And this is basically the Baja mode. You race uh, for a full Baja map. You go through the entire map, which will take a very long time. So it needs patience. It needs a ton of patience. But I do like these uh, longer events than just a tiny three minutes as uh, is usually offered. But for those who can't play these, the option is there to do the shorter ones. And I think this uh, concludes this particular video. So... If you like the game, or a game like this, this type of a racing game, then uh, I, will def I will definitely recommend it. While it is a remaster of an older game, it is now on PC and uh, if you didn't have it on the PS3, then that's what you can look forward to. I also happen to have the PS4 version of the game, and I will also showcase that one in a shorter video. And maybe if, I, if there are any differences, I will showcase the differences. Not visually though, I will just tell you if there are any differences between the two versions. So thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.